We played the way we wanted to play. Very unfortunate to concede the, the goal that you considered very early in the match, which I believe very strongly that it was outside uh, of, the, of the goal line when, when Salem put that ball in. Uh, and once Pirates scores uh, that early in the match, then the game favors Pirates. Because Pirates is, is a team that uh, thrives on uh, transitions and counterattacks. But uh, we must also take a bit of a blame. I think we lost too many balls very cheap. Knowing the strength of the opposition on transition, you cannot afford to, to risk possession like that. Because once they decide to go in a low block, it, a little bit more patience is wanted, a little bit more width uh, to try and open them up slowly, uh, but patiently without rushing to, to force passes into areas or to clip uh, balls uh, to the opponents because on transition, they always prove to be very dangerous. And I must also say, uh, ever since Salem started playing, their transitions are a little bit more clinical than, than before. Because if you look at this game today, I think they only had three or four shots at goals. And uh, all three are on target, you know. Uh, and this match, we had far too many shots at goals. But unfortunately, we did not get anything out of it. And I think we were not clinical enough in the final third. Uh, but more than anything else, I think uh, the goal that they scored very early in the match made life very difficult for us because we always know that playing against Pirates, then now you must worry a lot about your rest defense and worry a lot about breaking that low block down. And that is where I think the game was, was lost. We will be lying when we say we are not missing Peter. That is why we tried the best we can not to expose it to everyone that is, 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 is out because we know, everybody knows how dependent we are in his ability to finish our chances and also to pose a lot of threat and also to even, even give us a chance from the first line of defense uh, with his high press and speed and all that. That to a certain extent uh, had an effect on the whole team, but uh, we were consoling ourselves with the number of goals that we scored uh, prior to this match in three matches. And, but we knew for a fact that at some point, uh, if, we don't, if you don't take our chances, we might be exposed that we, we don't have a player of Peter Shalulile's calibre. A, a big match must always have two teams that are really, really pushing each other. But uh, in a game like this, where you know for a fact that you are likely to dominate possession, but you, you, would, you would have wanted not to concede too early so that they also disparate to come to you. And you, are, you, you then have possibilities to also create better opportunities like that. But uh, I think in, in terms of possession stats, probably it's 70-30. In terms of shots at goals, probably it's three shots and three on target and three goals. And you look at our, our side, uh, in all the other metrics, if you can look at them, uh, they are saying you should not lose a match like this. But unfortunately, when we are not taking your chances, uh, you will always have problems. And Saleng was a big factor in, in the game today, uh, even from putting a lot of stress on our last line because even transitions that never yielded anything, but he was a constant, consistent threat uh, into our last line. And uh, we must give it to them and, and appreciate sometimes that uh, in football, who takes his chances is the one who wins the match. And uh, it doesn't matter whatever you look at in terms of metrics, but sometimes football is just decided by who puts more more balls into the back of the net. And that is what happened today. In terms of the preparation for Champions League, uh, I would not be too sure because uh, normally in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, that's when you get teams that are coming to you uh, that are not sitting back at all. And that is probably one area of, of our game that has to improve, where teams force us to see how, defense, how can it, we defend against teams that are coming at us. Because the PSL, what it prepares us for, is to how to break down a low block because that is what we are getting week in and week out. But in terms of us being challenged and put under pressure by teams that are of equal strength with you, uh, we are not getting that a lot. But I must say there's tremendous improvement in terms of how Pirates is playing and structurally they also do a lot of good things. Have you ever seen a player scoring a goal, taking the shirt off and not getting a yellow card? Have you ever seen anything like that? Have you ever seen 
a, a ball getting out of the line and the linesman is five meters away from the line, but he does not see that the ball went out of the line and is nonchalant about it. And those were the situations that were paining us because one small mistake against us, it's a foul, it's a yellow card, it's this, it's a red card, but you look at what, it, what happened in the match, you, you, it's clear what is happening and everybody who is watching football these days can see what is happening in the PSL. And if Safa is not doing enough to improve what is happening in the PSL, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the games of other teams as well, not only Sundowns. I'm looking at Amazulu. Uh, the last two matches, what happened to them? Because all, all these, the, these matches, there's a lot of poor, poor decision-making from the referees. Very poor, substandard. But when you talk about these things, the next thing you, you are facing, the wrath of, of the disciplinary committee and what, 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 what. But you journalists, you are not putting these things forward, put these clips in front, show the offsides that people are, are, are surviving on and, 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 and winning games with, because that is what is happening. I, I, and I would not say the referees are cheating. I, I just feel sometimes the level of competence is not at the level that is, is expected in these matches. It only becomes worse when it's a senior referee that consistently does one and the same thing. Do you want to tell me that first half, there was not even one incident when Ponchane deserved to get a yellow card. How many times did he keep the ball there and nothing is happening, but the referee is, is nonchalant about it? What, where, what happened to the six-second rule? Because there, there was a six-second rule, and if you look at what is happening, and I did speak about this thing even in the past, that uh, our football is killed by a lot of, and lot and lot of time wasting. And if, if we are also wasting time, we must be punished. Every team must be punished so that games are played with at least maximum minutes of the ball in play. If it's 60 minutes in total of the ball in play, it's better. But in the PSL, you, you check, you go and, and, and look at your stopwatches. How many minutes is the ball in play? You will, you will be surprised that in 90 minutes, the ball is in play for less than 45 minutes. We are objectively looking at situations. We are not uh, just piggybacking on things that are not there. We are looking at direct situations that in the laws of the game, it's clear. If a player celebrates and he takes out his shirt, it's a questionable offense. And if in a game of this magnitude, that is not a questionable offense, then, then it's something else. But the truth is, we are, we are not uh, vindictive. We are not looking at the referees with an eye, what you did in the past and all that. We are looking at what is happening in the game. And uh, for the players to to complain when they see something wrong, I don't think there's anything wrong there because they can see when we when it's a small file, foul for us, we, we don't get it. But when it's a small file for the, for the other for the other guys, it's there all the time. And worse, worse, in, 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 in a moment where we win possession and we still have an advantage, Marcelo is on the ball. Marcelo is on the ball, it's just on the outside of the 18 area, anything can happen and the referee takes you back there. Then surely you are having a 12th defender there who, who does not want to see the game progressing because it's our foul. If, it, if, if we fouled, then we will understand. But Marcelo is on the ball. We, we, are, we, are, we are having an advantage to goals, direct to goals. And the referee says, no, no, come back. You, you, you were fouled here. And those are the situations we are talking about. We are not talking about situations that are offline. We are talking about things that happened in the match that the referees, if they also come into press conferences like this and they answer, what does the law say in a situation like this? Then you, we will understand whether the coaches are mad or what. And this is our bread and butter. This is what we live on. We prepare teams to make sure that we come into these stages to compete fairly. But the, if the referee now, instead of administering the games, they are, they are, they are making sure that the other team loses all the advantages it has, then, then we have to complain. If you are telling me, from a tactical perspective, if, if Pires does not score that goal that they scored so early, which was not supposed to be a goal because the ball was outside, then Pires would have to dig deeper. But when Pires has got that advantage, and you know tactically they are a team that thrives on transition, then you have opened the game up and you have favored, you have taken the game to their strength. And for me, that those are the things we are complaining about. But when we don't score the goals, we, we can't expect to win the match as well. We may complain about everything else that has happened, but 
we also have a responsibility to score goals in order to make sure that our complaint is a little bit valid. Now you have lost 3 nil. Nobody will understand why it went as far as 3 nil because people don't understand that when, 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 when you have considered a goal, you try to push a little bit up and push numbers up and you are likely to be caught on transition. And against a team like Pirates, if you create more transitions, you are bound to be punished.